Hi there, I'm Linda and this is Hutton's Valley Permaculture. Today I thought I'd do a quick update video just to show you what's growing out here in my front vegetable garden and also do an update on my greenhouse plantings. Yesterday I harvested my painted mountain corn so I thought you might like to see that. Just here, I've got my glass gem corn starting to grow really well. Yesterday, I just cleared out some duck bedding and put that around the base of each plant. So hopefully that will provide plenty of nutrition for these plants, but they're looking really healthy at this stage, just starting to take off. Moving along from the corn, I've got a couple of sad looking peppers, but one that's not too bad. But right next to it is an eggplant that's starting to produce some fruit there. And there's another one at the back there. Right next to us here, I'm growing some bolotti beans. I really love to grow dried beans and use them in um, casseroles and bean dishes during winter. So I've got two plots of the bolotti beans. And Here's my carrot plot that I've been thinning. So I'm starting to give these carrots a little bit more space so they can get um, to a really decent size. Just beyond that is some brassicas that I thought I'd give a try, but the white cabbage moth caterpillars are really going to town on it. You can see one little dude there. So I'm not going to really worry about these plants too much. It's too hard to fight against them. But I'll be starting some more seedlings soon. Underneath these little shade structures, I've got some lettuce. It's sort of an oak leaf lettuce, which has self-seeded. So it's going pretty well under there. And in amongst that is just some celery plants as well. Now this is a little garden that I recently cleared of all the, the peas. There are some random peas that are, have come up and all the spinach seeds are starting to grow all this amazing spinach, which I can sort of harvest as baby spinach, I suppose. The cucumbers are just starting to take off and hopefully we'll get some little Lebanese cucumbers from this shortly. My tomato patch is starting to kick in and I have harvested a few tomatoes at this point, but soon I'll be getting plenty. We've really been having some warm days lately. You can really notice the change in your plants and they just take off. A couple of the volunteers that I thought might have been gross lissy tomatoes turned out to be some Roma tomatoes, which I've never been able to grow that successfully, but one obviously dropped some seeds last year. So I'm gonna save seeds from um, these plants and hopefully get my own variety going that's happy in my location. Over here, it's the first time I've started to grow this blueberry tomato. It's um, quite an unusual colour. Underneath, I've got some basil starting to kick in. And that's that gorgeous little tomato there. Look at it. Such beautiful colours. It'll go nicely with my tigerella and my Jean Flamme in a salad. Tucked in amongst it, I've still got some beetroot that I just grab when I need it. I do find with the tomatoes shading the beetroot, it sort of slows the growth and they kind of, they last in the ground fairly well like that. Just along, I've got um, my tigerella tomatoes starting to look like they're very close to ripening. I've done a little bit of tying up, but it's not one of my skills. So they kind of go a bit random this time of year, do their own thing. But I still get plenty of tomatoes, even though I don't do any pruning. I just let them go. I will lose some at the bottom where the plant sort of collapses in on the ground but um, that's just my method of growing. There's a few little beetroots still in the ground here too. 
and shaded well with the tomatoes. There's some little tomatoes starting to ripen under there. Now like the um, corn, I did just put down a, a layer of duck bedding around just to keep adding to the organic matter. I've got borage that uh, volunteers in this area which always attracts the bees. Over here is my second bed of Bolotti beans. They're starting to, to pot up now so it won't be too long and I think I might put in a third bed just to make sure. This is a volunteer squash plant of some description. I'm not sure what it is at this point. We haven't got any fruit happening but it's starting to, to take off as is my sweet potato. I didn't know whether this would do any good but it's starting to vine. We've had a little bit of warm weather so that really helps with sweet potatoes. Otherwise they just don't really want to get going. Now on my trellis here I have a bean species that I hadn't grown before and it's a Ukrainian bean and I don't have that many plants here but it's just gone berserk and if you leave the bean a bit longer it turns into this lovely butter bean and even these little young green ones are, are delicious as well. So there's a huge amount of food that you can get out of this space. Turning around from my little trellis, this is going to be my winter growing space. I do have this kale plant. It's a um, curly leaf kale that I'm harvesting from. And I've got a Lebanese zucchini right there and another one there, which is what I'm harvesting from at the moment. I've got you know lots of zucchinis coming off these plants but as for everything else in these beds they can be cleared off i haven't top dressed them like the rest of the garden so i'll be doing that shortly as i um, get my winter garden plans sorted over here i've got they're called space master cucumbers and these are my first cucumbers of the season so I'm pretty excited to be able to grab those. I reckon that one might be good to go today in a salad. And I've got a second plant right next to it. It's got its first fruit happening there too. My two black zucchini plants are going great in this space here. I've been trying to harvest my zucchini is smaller and I've been keeping on top of them fairly well this year but even these flowers make a really delicious fritter so I might be doing that um, soon as well. Now just moving out the back here I've got two pumpkin plants which are Queensland blue. Now I don't have a lot of pumpkins coming on them actually they're probably a bit hidden in the grass, but um, there's my first beauty coming there. And my other plant over here has also got, there's my little pollinators at work. And uh, got a nice little fruit coming along here as well. Over the back here, this is actually a volunteer pumpkin. So it's just starting to get going so we'll soon see what sort of pumpkin it is and over the back there is all the cantaloupe starting to sprawl around as well. I do need to trim some more um, of this vegetation around and use it just sort of as a mulch so that the, um, the bees can find my plants. Now this space here it does look fairly wild, but yesterday I managed to harvest some seeds from this area. I do still have some artichoke plants hiding in there, which I would like to transplant to somewhere else actually. But soon I'll get on top of all of this, harvest any of the seeds and get it going a bit more like the gardens next to it. 
Got my little nursery plants all out in amongst the grasses. It's a space I will be looking at improving over the coming months. So watch out for that. And just beyond them here is my trellis beans. Now I've got three different beans. I did plant um, a purple bean just here, just to fill in gaps where the other beans didn't quite kick in. So I might get a couple of purple beans. And I've got rattlesnake beans, which are these ones here, which are a really tasty little bean. And down the end there, I've got what they call the lazy housewife bean. I did do a massive harvest from this just recently. So there's not a lot hanging here at the moment, but um, I don't mind a bit of a, a lull in the beans. I've still got those other Ukrainian beans kicking in, so no shortage of beans around here at the moment. So that leads us to the greenhouse. Let me show you around in there. First of all, I'll start with some of the plants not going so great. This is one of the little gingers I've planted and it actually hasn't started to grow at all. It's been slowly dying off. Now we have had fairly cool start to our summer, so maybe it was that, but I don't know. Also, my turmeric that I planted, the original um, plant was this one, but I have had this lovely um, shoot come up, but I'm hoping to see more. So that one's, you know, that's maybe going okay, but I'm not too sure at this stage. The other ginger plant that I put in is over here. And while it's looking pretty good, it also hasn't changed. So there's nothing else coming up. I've just added a little bit of extra compost to see if it needs some more food, but it's really not going anywhere. The same as my um, lemongrass, actually. All these warm season plants really aren't thriving in this space. So, although this one, I think, might just be getting going now. We're starting to get some really warm humid days so um, that might be just sort of settling in now I'll definitely have to give it some love in winter and really cover that over over in the corner here my kale is still going oh, I wouldn't say it's growing strong it has been a bit decimated by cabbage moth caterpillars which you know overnight you can really strip these plants What's been keeping me going is the Swiss chard that's here. A couple of the plants now are going to seed, but there's one or two that I'm still harvesting from that uh, haven't quite got to that seed head stage. This is the first of the little chili plants I've planted. Now I've still got the shade cloth on the side here, so I don't know if that's, it's probably impacting on the growth of this, but I'm a bit nervous about taking it off in midsummer. I've got my first little eggplant here. Now it seems to have developed some sort of disease. It's not really happy, but luckily my outdoor eggplants are going really well at this point. Here is, I think this is one of my capsicum plants. So we're starting to get some little flowers showing on it. So hopefully that'll take off soon. This is a little elderberry that I've potted up. So it's really starting to, to shoot now, which I'm happy about. This here is another of the capsicums I planted, um, you know, a few months ago. Another one here. And these two are chili plants. One's just a sort of a mild chili and one, I think this one here is a little cayenne. And this is a, a second eggplant. Now I've just really planted these plants in this space as insurance for, you know, bad weather outside. And it seems that the plants, these pepper plants are doing really great in this space and not so good out in my garden. And it's the opposite for the eggplants. So, I mean, this one's not looking too bad, but compared to outside, they're just going great. So it's kind of been good to have plants in each space just to make the most of the conditions. Now over the other side 
I've got my volunteer tomato, which has really gone well. I've got it strung up to the ceiling there. And it's been the first of my tomatoes to, to give me a harvest. I've got some beautiful fruit coming along there. Now this is a Jean Flamme tomato, which is a really sweet, beautiful little tomato. And I've got lots coming. There's lots there. It goes over here and stretches over to that side as well. Right next to this tomato is my overwintered chilli plant. So this is just going fantastic. It already had the roots in the ground. It was ready to go as soon as the growing season hit. And it's already producing quite a number of chilies, which I'm pretty excited about because outside in my area, it almost starts to go cold before any of my chilli plants have really started to produce the red chilies. So I'm hopeful this will be my saviour in the red chilli department and I'll be able to make lots of um, chilli sauces or it just even dried chilli. So what I'm planning to do with the plants over this side of the greenhouse that are pepper plants, I'm going to overwinter those ones as well. If I leave these in the ground and give them a bit of protection, then hopefully next season um, I'll have a bumper crop of well, both chilies and the, the red peppers. Behind me here is my painted mountain corn. Well, it's the stalks anyway. Yesterday I did the harvest. I will be leaving the stalks in place because I'm growing a bean up these stalks and using them as a trellis. That's a nice little um, frost bean. It's a pretty little bean. And I'm going to be using that as a dried bean. So I'll just leave these all in place and I don't need to harvest some green, but just wait for everything just to grow and dry out. Oh, this poor stalk's got a, a huge amount of the beans growing on it. We might have to give that one a little bit of support. Let's just peel this one back. Look at that. Look at those colours. Isn't that beautiful? That's all my corn harvested. I think all I need to do now is get that inside and I'm going to just open up all the, the cobs, which is really exciting actually. It's like um, opening presents to see what you actually get. But um, I don't know, there's something just very satisfying about growing that. It's just beautiful. And once dried, it makes a really good popping corn. Um, and I suppose you could grind it down for flour too, but uh, just popping those open and enjoying it that way is what I plan to do. Well, that's it for my vegetable garden update. I hope you enjoyed having a look around and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I managed to harvest from the painted mountain corn. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.